Hi, thanks for visiting. This is your reading for July 30th to August the 5th. And if you like this reading, please like or subscribe um, or leave a comment if you would like to. Um, I have everything ready as usual. I'm just going to start your reading for Gemini as quickly as I can for you. Uh, the first card you have you passed is the Five of Swords. So yes, obviously this man's stealing from someone and the others have just walked away and they've, they've walked away and they've had enough of this person. Um, and yeah, the first person looks very um, greedy, he looks very um, entitled, he looks very sneaky. So I'm seeing um, that someone might have, I'm seeing this literally actually, someone might have taken something from you um, or maybe you felt that they got away with something or something like that. I'm actually seeing someone literally picking things up and running away and um, things that maybe might not have belonged to them they might have belonged to you so this might be literal they might have actually taken something from you some of your belongings um, but it might not have happened literally it might just be that you know they ended up with more than they should have in a situation or something like that or they're behaving in a really selfish way and they took more um, emotionally from you it might be that but I am literally seeing someone picking something up and running away that's what I'm seeing with this and I'm seeing that you know you probably really wanted to fight them at the time you're really angry you're really upset this person really hurt you actually but then after a while you might have thought well I, it's just not worth the fight I'm not going to bother anymore I'm just going to let it go now I'm seeing that you know obviously these two men have just got their heads down they're walking away they've just finished with this person and they're just walking off this is how you felt at this time, probably because you're really exhausted by this person. But I'm seeing that maybe in the future you might come back and you might revisit this. You might come back and try and get what get what's yours in the future. Or you might try to um, try you know try to get justice or something like that. But you know at this time you just really didn't have it in you to do that. You just wanted to get right away from this person. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next card you have you passed is the Empress. So yes, this is a beautiful card and this is a very fertile card as well. This is about fertility, nurturing, mothering and just all of these beautiful things like that and um, you know, taking care, all of these things. I'm actually seeing this literally as well. I'm seeing everything literally. Um, someone around you might have announced a pregnancy or they might have announced um, the birth of a child or something like that. I am seeing a little bit of stress around this though. I'm seeing maybe that there was some, there could have been some kind of complications or some kind of problems surrounding this um, birth or this um, pregnancy or something like that. Um, it might be, it might have been something physical going wrong or it might have been something mental going wrong or it might have even been the situation they're in. They might have been in not a very good home or they might have had to move or some kind of difficult situation was around this person. Now, some people might have been, um, some people around them might have been worrying a bit too much. They might have been discussing things. Now, some people really did care about them and they were talking about them thinking about, okay, what can we do about this person practically? How can we be there to support this person? So they did have some people supporting them. They also had some people who were talking too much about them in the wrong way. So maybe they were gossiping, maybe they were making too much out of it, using it for their own kind of entertainment. Sometimes when people are in a difficult situation, you see, you see what the real person's like. Sometimes they can come out and be very kind. And sometimes they can use this for their entertainment. They go around talking, ooh, I'm at, what's going to happen next? Ooh, are they going to find a place to stay? Are they going to be better? Are they going, ooh, do you know what happened? All of that kind of gossip. So, you know, you this person had both of these kinds of people around them. But, you know, they were supportive. They had more supportive people around them. And, um, Yes, they had to be taken care of. I keep on seeing that. Whoever announced this birth or whoever was pregnant or whoever this was, um, they needed to be taken care of. They needed to be nurtured. And they were. They had people supporting them. That's what I'm seeing. You might have been one of these people supporting them. The last card you have here passed is the Page of Pentacles. So yes, this person had to be handled 
very gently, not because they were crazy or they were, people thought they were difficult, not that kind of thing. It was that they had some problems around them and people had to kind of take care of them and nurture them and that kind of thing. Um, look at the way this page is handling this coin very gently, very carefully, looking up to this coin, thinking, I'll take care of you, I'll be very gentle with you, that kind of thing. The other thing I'm seeing with this card is that uh, maybe you could have been planning um, uh, or maybe contemplating, not, maybe not, not planning, maybe we're just thinking about a future with someone. You're thinking about a future with someone at this time. Obviously, this is a love situation, but I'm seeing that this is probably in the early stages of a love situation. So, because this is the card of newness, this is springtime in this card, so maybe it was in the early stages. You might have just been starting to talk to someone or something like that. Um, but, or you're in an early relationship, the early stages of a relationship. And um, you really wanted this to happen. You wanted this to work. And, um, but there was some unsurety around this. You were feeling a little bit unsure about whether this was going to work. And um, I'm seeing that you're probably a little bit careful not to seem too pushy. You didn't want to push and say, oh, where are you today? Why didn't you answer my text? Blah, 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 that kind of, you didn't want to appear to be um, needy or pushy. But you did feel like that inside. You felt very differently to the way you're behaving. That's what I'm seeing. So, you know, if this resonates and you're still worrying about this, you're still going through this problem, uh, this worry, try not to stress too much. Try not to worry too much about this. Just enjoy this early phase of being with someone. Just love this new time when you first meet someone. And I say this a lot. I always see this in my readings that people worry about things like, oh, is that where this is going? Where is this going to go? Am I going to have a future with this person? Am I going to meet their parents? And are their family going to like me? Are they going? Am I going to have to move? All these kind of things. They start worrying. But when people look back. People who've been in a relationship for a long, long time, when they look back on the early days, they often say that these were the happier days, and the happiest days even, and they look back on them with these beautiful memories. And so this is the time that you're in now. This is the happy time. I'm not saying things are going to get worse. <laughs> they should you know, be happy all the time, obviously. No, nothing's perfect all the time, of course, but... This is a very special time and you're going to look, if you are going to have a future with this person, you're going to look back on this time. So enjoy this time. Don't be too worried about it. That's what I'm seeing. The first card you have here present is the Fool. So yes, this is about, again, I'm seeing the same thing. This should be a carefree time. Look how free this Fool is. He doesn't care about anything. He's not worrying about, oh, you know, how do I look? How do I appear? How do people see me? Is this going to work? Do I have a future? Should I do? No, he just does it. He doesn't care. He just does it. So again, I'm seeing that's how you have to be with this person. Um, and you need to, um, yeah, you, I'm seeing as well that um, you might be feeling that they're a little bit distant. You might be feeling that um, they're not, they might not be as, as attentive as you'd like. They're a little bit more distant than you'd like. You probably like them to be around you all the time. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. And um, they're around you when they can, but they're just not overly crazy. They're not over the top. They're more, they're more kind of a reserved person. That's what I'm seeing. So don't, don't make too much into everything. Don't look at what they're saying and think, oh, what's the hidden meaning behind what they said? Oh, did they put one heart on the text or did they put two? Or did they say hi or did they say hey or did they say hello, how are you? Oh, what does that mean? You know, don't get so caught up in these silly, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about it. Just relax if you can. Try as hard as you can because I see that you do get these kind of up and down emotions sometimes, even if there's no real reason. So don't put these up and down emotions onto this person and don't create problems that aren't actually there. If you keep on doing this, you might actually push them away and that's what you don't want to happen. You're kind of, oh, oh, I'm so anxious. I don't want to lose this person. And if you keep up like this, you might lose them. They don't want someone like that. They want someone who is just fun and relaxed and enjoying their time. And what they want is when they see when they see you again, if they have a lot going on, they have a lot of other stress, they probably have work, they probably have all sorts of stuff going on. When they see you, they want that to be a really nice, enjoyable time. 
and so make that a nice enjoyable time when they see you don't say oh i haven't heard from you for a long time where have you been just say oh hi hey good to hear from you well i've been doing this interesting thing i haven't been sitting biting my nails wondering when you're going to um, tax me no no i've been doing this interesting thing and this fun thing and i'm easy going and more like that that's what i'm seeing the next card you have in your present is the seven of cups I'm seeing this can be, you know, this card could be about dreams, illusions, having lots of choices, not knowing what to do. I'm seeing in this card something happened to you. This is what I'm seeing now. Something probably happened to you in your past. It might be around this person in the Five of Swords. It was definitely someone who hurt you. That's what I'm seeing. They had you in a situation where you didn't know where you were with them. And you were very anxious with this person. They might have left you feeling really confused, really hurt really bewildered actually not knowing what had happened they might have even ghosted you they maybe maybe they didn't but they they left you feeling like oh up and down crazy you just didn't know where you were with this person and i'm seeing that you know this really affected you and this could be why you're so worried about this new relationship so if that's the case yes this other person was horrible but that isn't the case with this new person they're not a horrible person they might be a bit detached they might be a bit quiet they might be a bit kind of um you know a bit just a bit reserved maybe or they might be busy but they're not a horrible person like this other person so you know this is a completely different person so don't judge this person by your old relationships that's what i'm seeing now the last card you have for your present is the knight of swords so i'm seeing i'm seeing protection with this card i'm seeing you could be um, rushing in to protect someone this is someone who you see is a little bit vulnerable this is someone who might even be a little bit helpless. This can be the knight in shining armor card, but this is you who's the knight in shining armor. So um, I'm getting this feeling that someone is, um, maybe someone was left on their own, but I'm seeing that you probably be both left on your own, you and this vulnerable person. You are this person's strength, that's what I'm seeing. And um, I'm also seeing that they appreciate you being their strength. They appreciate you being there for them. I'm seeing that. Standing up for them. Standing up for their rights. Standing up for who they are. I'm seeing that you're doing that as well. And um, again, I'm seeing that you might have been isolated for some time at, at a time um, with them. You might have both been isolated. And you both understand each other. That's what I'm seeing. I'm also seeing you're very close to whoever this person is. And they do appreciate you. They do appreciate you standing up for them and helping them. That's what I'm seeing. The first card you have for your future is the Six of Swords. Um, yes, I'm seeing you're still going to be helping this vulnerable person in this. Um, and you're still going to be protecting them. And um, they're going to be helping you as well, just by being there. Not by doing anything specific, just by being with you. And uh, they truly care about you, I'm seeing that as well. Um, if you look at the woman in this boat, she has a small child next to her. Uh, so this could be representing this vulnerable person. Um, this child is sitting so so close to this woman there's no space in between them they're so close so this is showing me again that you're so close to whoever this is and you're protecting this person um, and they're protecting you as well again I'm seeing that just by being with you just knowing that they're there next to you helps you feel better protected that you have something to kind of um, to be there for something to kind of be around for I know that sounds really terrible and sad but no it's like uh, they're the purpose and they for a while this person could have been the purpose for you being here um that sounds very sad but um you're here to protect them and you've always felt that you're here to protect this person that's what i'm seeing but i'm also seeing in this situation that you're going to stay together you're going to be protect each other you're going to be there for each other you're going to have some obstacles in front of you i'm seeing um with these swords that are still in front of um this child and this woman but I'm also seeing another person who's going to step in and they're going to protect the two of you so this could be this person in this page of pentacles this could be this new person who you're starting to talk to this relationship um, or this um, love situation this person could step in they could be there to really protect the two of you and I'm seeing that as this man who's kind of rowing this boat he's he's watching over the two of them and he's there steering them into the right direction so 
yes, somebody could be protecting both of you. They are a very reserved person. I'm seeing that again. They're a quiet person. They're not a passionate person, but they're a good person and they're there to protect you. That's what I'm seeing. The next card you have in future is the Three of Wands. So yes, you have good news coming to you or you have something very good coming to you. You've been waiting for this for a long, long time. You've been waiting for something good to happen for a long, excuse me, for a long time. You've been waiting for something good to happen to you, this particular thing. Um, I'm seeing, yes, this was in your last reading, I think. Um, and this is Daphne coming to you at this time. Don't be anxious about it. I'm seeing you might be anxious about this. If you look at this card, I'm seeing there's a golden sea. I'm seeing this situation again that's in the Six of Swords. This is a golden sea. I'm going to put this down so you can see. There's a beautiful golden sea. So this is where the good things are. This is where the good things are coming to you. And you're looking over that. On the golden sea, I'm seeing three ships. So I'm seeing that they're representing three people. You, this person you're caring for, plus this other person who's going to protect the two of you. They're the three ships coming in for you on this golden sea. This is going to be very beautiful, very special for you. This is coming in for you. The last card you have, and I'll move that back again, is um, the Queen of Swords. I'll put that up so you can see everything. So, yes, this is the last card you have for your future. Um, yes, I'm seeing, do you know what I'm seeing with this Queen of Swords? I'm seeing this could be this person in the Five of Swords, this horrible person, who took things from you or whatever they did, they could be coming back to you at this time. They could be coming back to you. That's why you have your sword up. Look at that. They're going to come back to you. I'm actually seeing they might have a question to ask you. They're not going to come back to you to say, I want to come back with you. Will you have me back? It's not going to be like that. They might be coming back to you to ask you a question. They might want some information for you that you have, from you, I should say, information from you, you might have some information they left behind or that they have or that you sorry that you have that they want from you and they might be coming back to ask you for that information you're going to be ready for them but you're not going to be ready in the way that they think they're going to think oh this person will be ready for me and they'll say yes of course whatever you like come in welcome have a cup of tea and i'll give you whatever you want no you're not going to be like that you're going to be like the queen of swords Look at the Queen of Swords, she has her hand out, she's saying, come on, come and get me, you come toward me, you come and see what happens. She's gesturing, this person's going to come to you, ask you this question, and you're going to have your sword up. And you're going to say, just try it. You're not going to give them what they want, they don't deserve it, and I'm very happy that you're not going to do that. That's what I'm seeing. Gemini, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone, and also I got into trouble because I wasn't saying this. This can also be in reverse, so ask me in the comments if you don't know what that means. Um, again, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you would like to. Thank you so, so much for watching.